Hello viewers, welcome to Khala Jan's Kitchen. I'm Farhanda and today I'm making butter chicken known as Murgh Makhni at the request of some of my viewers. Butter chicken seems a very complicated dish as it has a long list of ingredients but in reality it's not complicated at all. Chicken and sauce are cooked separately and then combined and cooked together to blend the flavors. To make the dish I have taken two pounds of skinless and boneless thighs cut into two to three pieces. I prefer thighs to white meat as they have more flavor and stay moist when cooked. For the marinade, we need half a cup of yogurt, crushed ginger, one teaspoon, crushed garlic, one teaspoon, garam masala, half a teaspoon, turmeric, half a teaspoon, salt, half a teaspoon or to taste, chili powder, half a teaspoon or to taste. For color, two teaspoons of paprika. If you prefer, you can use Kashmiri chili powder that gives color but also has some heat, whereas the paprika that I'm using will give a lot of color but no heat at all. We also need one teaspoon of coriander powder and one teaspoon of cumin powder. Besides that, we also need some oil, at least two to three teaspoons to grease the pan because I'm going to cook the chicken on my grilling pan. To make the gravy, we need five tablespoons of unsalted butter, three quarter cups of tomato puree. If you wish, you can use four to five fresh tomatoes. One cup heavy cream or whipping cream. Besides that, we need one medium onion, five cloves of garlic, and a two inch piece of ginger. We need one teaspoon of dried fenugreek leaves. 2 teaspoons of paprika, chili powder and salt, half a teaspoon each or to taste, garam masala, half a teaspoon, coriander and cumin powders, 1 teaspoon each. We will also need 1 teaspoon of sugar and juice of half a lime. We will grind the ginger, the garlic and the onions together in quarter cup of water and if you are taking fresh tomatoes then you will grind them with the onion, ginger and the garlic. The paprika that I'm using is basically just red bell peppers which have been dried and ground up into a powder. To marinate the chicken, we are going to add the yogurt, the crushed ginger and the garlic and all the ground up spices. We are going to mix it very well and let it marinate for at least half an hour. You can marinate it for longer time. I let it marinate for two hours. To cook the chicken, I've heated my grilling pan on medium-high heat and greased it with one teaspoon of oil. I've placed the chicken in a single layer and I'm going to be cooking it for about a minute and a half on that side. Before we turn the chicken over, we are going to add some more oil and then turn the chicken and cook the other side for a minute and a half. We will not be cooking the chicken thoroughly at this time as it will be cooking in the sauce as well. After cooking the chicken, we'll set it aside and start our gravy. To make the sauce, I've heated the pot on medium heat and added the 5 tablespoons of butter. After the butter has melted, we are going to add the puree that we made with the onions, garlic and the ginger. If you have the puree with the tomatoes, that will go in at this time. Then we will add all our ground up spices and cook till the smell of raw onions and spices is gone. The sauce has been cooking for about 5 minutes now and all the smell of raw onions and the spices is gone. At this time, we will add our tomato puree. If you are using fresh tomatoes, they are already in the sauce. After adding the tomato puree, we are going to cook it for another 2 minutes. And then we will add the cooked chicken with all its juices, the heavy cream. and the one teaspoon of sugar. You can substitute the sugar with one teaspoon of honey or one teaspoon of brown sugar or desi gur. 
Half a teaspoon of the dried fenugreek leaves will also go in at this time, but before adding, we will crush them between our palms. We will cover the pot and let the sauce cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. The chicken has been cooking in the sauce for 15 minutes now and I have stirred it in between at least twice. At this stage the sauce is a little bit thin so we will increase the heat to high and let the moisture evaporate. And at this stage we will also add the juice of half a lime or 2 teaspoon of lemon juice. It has taken 4 minutes on high heat for the sauce to come to its right thickness. Chicken is also perfectly cooked. Now we will shut the heat off and serve. I'm using the leftover half a teaspoon of dried fenugreek leaves for garnish and also two tablespoons of the heavy cream. It is best served with hot naans, but in my son's case, he loves it with plain rice. Do try this recipe. I'm sure you will forget the butter chicken that you've had before. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Enjoy!